That's right, everybody. It is Friday night. It's time to party. You earned it. We earned it. It's just that time. I hope you're feeling loose. I hope you're feeling good. We're going to sit back, kick a few drinks, and uh, have some fun. It is the podcast that is our reviews will kill you. As always, I am the man you may know as Z. But don't you worry. Daddy's home. Daddy is always home. And so is baby, baby Yoda. He's in the back controlling the wheels of steel on the second part because we have a number one wheel of Steeler, but we have somebody who uh, forgot his name, so he got to put on a hat. It's Noob Noob. I have a nice hat now. <laughs> Welcome to the club, the Ripoff Z Club. Maybe Scott, oh wait, Scott already has a hat that says Scott on it. So we all have <laughs> we all have hats with names. That's right. We have the man, the myth, the mystery, the non-bonobo, Scott Keebler. Actually, I do not have a hat that says Scott on it. I have hats that say Zombie X's. I have hats that say Blue Iron. I have hats that say every other project I've been on, but I don't have hats that say Scott on it. Don't they say Scott will kill you? I do have SWKY Productions hats, but that is a company hat. That's not a hat that just has my name split across the top like an idiot because I have no clue what my name is. So, no... We do not all have those matching stupid hats. But hey, who cares? Because it is Friday night, and we are live once again. Jay Bird's in the house. Sam Jr.'s in the house. Ron Schrade is in the house. I'm sure many others will be joining us soon. We do appreciate you coming out with us. As Doc is back from his Magical always. Mystery Tour. So welcome back, Doc. And Good to hear there, that you traveled safe. Mark the Jesus just hopped in the chat. Keeler Elf. I wish if I was a Keebler elf and I was any way in relation to that cookie company, I would not be standing here with you right now. Mm. Actually, I probably would. I do enjoy doing this, but it would be much better quality. And I'd be paying somebody that's much more talented than Noob Noob shit. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean let's, let's, let's be really here. What are you doing? <laughs> it's so stupid. What is he doing Anyway, over there? you spell. I think Mark D is uh, spelled wrong, but I see Mark D is in the chat so marcus happy birthday friend yes it's, early it's, uh, enjoy not what we plan on doing it but we'll do it right now mark d happy birthday buddy thank you for joining us on your days of days what are you drinking tonight for your birthday i'm up to my normal whiskey i poured myself a deep glass tonight boys this is going to be a fun one that looks too deep that's a that's a lot of whiskey <sighs> that'll last me most of the night though so i'm all right with that i see you finished your drink already there noob noob i did he has to just chug everything. Have to chug it. You can't even like it. sit there and sip on it, and enjoy it. That's no, why. I can't. He's got to fix his. He uh, had to show everybody. So why don't yeah. you tell everybody why you have a terrible well, lisp and snaggle tooth now? Scott yelled at me for my ugly teeth, so I so immediately cried. became self conscious. So yeah, he talks like this. And I, uh, I got Invisalign. Yeah. So yeah, now I have. Uh, I, I get have a little... review in Invisalign for us. I, c- I could do an Invisalign diary. <laughs> Can you do a daily, a daily, just daily shot of your teeth every this day? This fucking sucks. <laughs> just staring at candy that I can't eat anymore. Uh, we should just <laughs> just be honest and be just straight up with us. Just take your teeth out because we already know that that's what you have going on. They're just dentures. They're not even real. I They're wish. Not real teeth. I wish. He, so we could gummy everyone. I could just good gum some gummy bears and M and M's and oh my god, almond joys. Mm. I miss candy. <laughs> Well, no candies for you. That's creepy and it sounded disgusting. So on that note, let's get into some housekeeping. Shall Stop we? touching my knees. Bro. Housekeeping, you want me to jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? First in our housekeeping tonight, we have a video that Z and I did late one night. I swung by the studio there. I still can't get the smell out of my nose. It's just lingering there. Whatever is on Noob Noob's mic is just horrible. But Z and I did a video about Jared Loker, Jared Leto's Joker gets a Loker. makeover. A Loker. He got mm-hmm. a makeover. We're talking about it. It's in the new Zack Snyder image. It's going. On, it's an ongoing conversation. So we touched on it there. So we do have a video for that. Check it out at youtube.com slash our reviews will kill you. Any comment on that, Z? No. That's a great video. Are we all damaged, though? Are, are we? we? I think we are mm. all damaged. I am. And, 
And to verify that, I did another video which got released yesterday, an actual review video since we are a review channel. I figured we might as well review something. So, I reviewed a set of lights from GVM and actually teaser that lights now up here in the studio with me right now. So, it's Ooh. ongoing. I still use it and I use it. I've been using it a lot. So, that video I put up yesterday for everyone that's doing social media videos, everything that you want to do. You want to light your bedroom while you're having sex because you can't see it. These things are just bright enough to make a shadow on the wall. So check out that video I did yesterday, or I dropped yesterday. That's over at rvswillkillyou.com slash links. Same way to get there, just a different path. Mm. And a teaser for next week, we apparently are going to be watching Space Sweepers. Although, who's watching this? Streets, it's not street sweepers. It's a, it's a Korean movie. It's Asian good. space sweepers. <laughs> it's not just Asians. It's everyone. Space. I saw all this pop- inclusive. All I saw, inclusive. I saw this pop up on Netflix, and this looks like one of those stupid like kitties in space style. No. Mo- yeah, I, I was not interested. It's not. It's actually uh, quite interesting and clever. I'm so far. I am enjoying it. It is like. Five hours long, so I'm getting through Five it. Five hours long? It's oh, it's at a least show. Two and a half, no, it's a movie. It's at least two and a half hours long. It's what? not more. Really? Yeah. Because the, the synopsis was a set of space sweepers while cleaning up find something that's a mystery. So, yeah. So well, they don't find it until a half hour in. So, Ugh, so. <laughs> it's good. It's Watch a Korean it. movie. I am enjoying it so far. I will give you the rest of my in-depth review. We'll watch that at, at a later two, date. We'll watch that at two times speed. And another one for you to watch, which we'll be talking about next week, is Crime Scene Vanishing at the Cisse de la Hotel. I don't know how they made this into a four-part series, but uh, if anybody who knows anything about the Cecil Hotel, which I, actually maybe Doc knows a little bit about this the, The history of it, it's uh, one of those creepy type flop houses that's right on Skid Row. And uh, several years ago, there was a mysterious disappearance in 2013 of Alyssa Lamb. It uh, caught the favor of conspiracy theorists everywhere. And uh, this seems like an overblown coverage of about four minutes of uh, video that people are are kind of amazed by. So So this is where Silence of the Lambs came from. It is not because she her name was Lamb. No, nope, no nope. different thing. Totally different thing. So the Clarice show starling. on CBS is I can't, not about you know, this. You know that's one accent that I really struggle with. I cannot do the Clarice, uh, the the that weird Tennessee accent that she does. I can't do that accent. There's a uh, Tennessee neither, accent. Oh, for neither, sure. Neither could she. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, not in the new show, but in the uh, uh, whoever that who's the actress in the original Jodie Foster. Jody Fo- Jody Foster. Jody Foster. Jody Foster. Jody Foster did a really good accent in that. It's a very difficult one to do, and apparently the new girl who's doing the new one is not very good at it. Yeah, I don't even know where she's from. Let me let me try to the Google new girl. Her. Yeah, she's not from wherever they want her accent to be. She's like gnawing on it, like it's like rum, 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 rum. Clarice. Oh, Doc, is Doc watching uh, Clarice now? I, I've heard uh, it got. Uh, I think I was Doc, go- Doc, Doc Doc chimed in when we were talking about vanishing at the Cecil Hotel. Oh, okay. I think that's what he's watching now. So he'll definitely want to chime in next week. Eighty-five bucks a night hotel. That's right. Oh, mm-hmm. that's more expensive than most of the hooker hotels I've been to. I mean, I don't know anything about those things. Nope. Rebecca <laughs> Breeds is Clarice Starling in this. Yeah, she's no good. She she's Sydney, no- Australia. She is not going to get a uh, a U.S. a subtle U.S. accent like that. So yeah, it's probably a struggle for her. Yeah, she is not in anything famous. No, she's not. She yeah. they got her on the cheap. Maybe for eighty five bucks a night at that same hotel in L.A. She's straight up in nothing, like Pretty Little Liars. Yep. And once yep. again, happy birthday to Mark D. He's drinking vodka tonight. Who drinks? Got like the vodka. Straight? I got vodka the whiskey. Straight? What are you drinking, Z? Because Noob finishes drink. No one cares. What do you got, Z? I have a kamikaze, and uh, I also it is, had a kamikaze. He had a kamikaze too. He uh, piggybacked had. on my kamikaze. Yes. I steal his liquor. Yeah, he does. He just drinks it all. And he just why there was none for when I swung by the studio, you freaking I had to refresh. Yeah. I I I had none. I'm sorry, Scott. I had none for you. (laughs) But I Only the people that show up to work every week. Yeah. Wait, how much do you show up to work? Well, he's saying he's showed up to work in this chair. 
next to me every week. Where are you, Scott? I I'm had to magically exactly where I need to be. I'm in my I had studio. To abracadabra him no, here. COVID's over. Twenty five thousand people in Super Bowl. Oh, don't steal over. my line. <laughs> he, uh, he just literally <laughs> stole my line. You son of a bitch. Well, thanks to COVID, all the technology's here, so this is where I get to remain. So mm. it's a lot, and and I like my studio a lot better than I like your studio. So we're gonna stick with that. Laura says Baby Yoda. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, who's that over there? That's Baby Yoda oh, right there. Oh, you do have your own Baby Yoda. I forgot. That's right. Oh, I don't have give one. Away yours more. isn't as cute I have as two. ours, though. I have yeah. two. I got another yours Baby Yoda still, over here. Yours is not the OG Build-A-Bear Baby Yoda. No, I got Just, the real Baby Yoda. That's That makes noise. Sam Jr. says putting us to, we're putting him to sleep, so let's move on and get and that's into That's not the, sleep. That's him putting a, a mask on. Oh, that's a mask on. Oh, oh I see. Now he's masking up. Oh, well. He's very responsible. Very responsible. Up. We appreciate it. Do you have two masks on, Sam Jr.? Because if you have two, you probably need three. Yeah. That makes it an N95. Noob, noob. You just need to put on a mask just to save us all from looking at that face. Snaggletooth. Oh, my God. <laughs> On to the news. Ooh. Were we not talking about my giveaway? Oh, better cancel the news. Since we are speaking out about cancel culture. Go cancel ahead. The news. Go ahead. Cancel oh the news. My noob, God. noob. Go ahead. Rude. We <sighs> have a giveaway. And uh, it was Batman Soul the Dragon. So yeah. wait, let me get this straight. You are giving away this movie before we're reviewing it on the show. Uh-huh. So whoever's getting the giveaway, maybe they can review it because it'll be better than the give maybe they'll have a better review than you do maybe i don't know i haven't watched it so, <laughs> so who knows yeah well the winner is uh charlie huang on youtube did you want to spit up because his wang why are you talking about his wang like oh that? oh my god uh his instagram handle is a chiuman so i will uh once i take a picture of it i will send you an image Along with my penis. <laughs> that uh, is the risk when you enter these contests. And you decipher which one's which. <laughs> yeah, people aren't sure which yeah. is which. So, right. uh, yeah, uh, he is the winner. Thank you so much for everyone who participated. And there is going to be two future giveaways. I just got two movies in the mail, Ooh. none of which I've seen. So I'm going to give those away first, too. Freaky, starring Vince Vaughn. And uh, Greenland, starring our favorite, is he Australian, British? Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. He's Australian, isn't he? No, I thought he was. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say he's Irish, but I don't he's know. He's not Irish. Or he's Scottish. 100% not Irish. Scottish. Really? He's Scottish. He's Scottish. Scottish. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's close. There we go. We figured it out. Scottish. So, Irish. Yeah. Now okay, we now we can news? go to the news. Yes. News. And we actually have, oh no, I can't find it, but we have breaking news. We'll just pull the teletype up for this one. Apparently, uh, mm. I don't know anything about this story. This was brought to me. Ashley Judd apparently just died. No, she's not dead. What? Oh, oh, so she's almost dead. Almost dead. Almost this dead. This is, uh, we're actually going to, we're going to frame this in a, as a, a form of PSA for people. So, <clears throat> folks, okay, rich white people, this is for you. Rich white people, stop going to the Congo. Stop going around the world trying to save it because you think you're saving things. Don't do it. Who's that guy who's trying to kill himself? Who's Zach Efron. Zach Efron. Stop going around the world trying to save people. You're a rich white guy. Sit at home. Hire hot in Instagram influencers. I don't know. Just stop it. Rich white people, talking to you, stop it. The she racist. went out to the Congo to save some bonobos. Wow. And the bonobos Bananas. apparently threw her off of a building, and now she shattered her leg into a million pieces and is almost dead, and they had to almost amputate her leg because she's in the freaking Congo. But there's a good side to this because now you rich white people, you know you shouldn't be out there. So wait, this is Africa. Don't be messing with Africa. The Donkey Congo threw Africa. her off. It says Dr. Congo. No, wait. In unfortunately, been in a bad accident in a remote part of Dr. Congo, but she's okay. What is DR uh, the Dominican Republic of Congo? No, the Democratic Republic of Congo. That's right. For those of you who don't know, the Glad Congo is a song. Spoke, she's very focused on local. <laughs> 
local health care needs in that area, not on her own. She's being carried out on a tarp. I don't know that that is the best possible possible medical, uh, you know, things that could go on there. If you're gonna if you're gonna get beat up by bonobos. You probably don't well, want to do it there's in the Well, no, there's no truck driving over. There's no ambulance driving over that bridge they have there. No, there's no ambulance. The ambulance is those two men who are carrying her. Notice one of them is not her husband or life partner. Because she doesn't have a husband. She has a life partner. Yes. That's what she said. She's studying endangered apes. That sounds racist. Those to are call bonobos. Them. Oh, she's not calling the people of no, Congo. No, the people of Congo are not bonobos. Oh, bonobos oh, are wow. an animal. Oh, that's what Noob Noob thought. Wow, what do you mm. No, no, I, I thought that. Ashley Judd, because she's white and she's obviously what a racist. What goes through that she, head of yours? So she, wait. quote unquote, Scott, quote unquote, tripped over a fallen tree with her life partner. Those are code words. For come save me, the apes are going to kill me. <laughs> Specifically, so, I mean the that's what I saw. Like she stunning. fell out of a tree or something. She like, tripped over a fallen tree, Scott, in the dark. She that's was not dark there. She that's was very, beaten. <laughs> they not, gnawed her leg off. It's not dark in that image. It's very bright. It's that's not nighttime. How do you? Her accidentally- and her life partner were raped. Her, her wow. headlamp was Congo not apes. functioning properly, and there was a tree in her path. She went into a powerful stride, oh boy. leading to the... This is, you can't make this up. This is Ashley, Judd, Ashley Judd almost died because she tripped over a tree in the Congo. First of all, regular people can't afford that unless we get our stimulus checks. Please pass our stimulus check so we can go to the con- Congo and study bonobos. We're Why can't this right happen? Now. Why can't you make this happen? I need to go to the Congo, please, and study bonobos. Bananas. It's important. I want to study bananas. But there's more. Oh, no, there's no more. No. Is there no more? Please tell me there's no more. No. So in but, summation, in summation, Ashley Judd is a white supreme who went to study bananas in the Congo. They're not bananas. Got raped by an ape. No, <laughs> she got raped. She by got an raped ape. by a pack full of horny apes. <laughs> her life partner watched in horror as he masturbated. Her, <laughs> her life and, partner. Uh, she is now in a hospital with uh, a hospital. Yes. In the jungle. I, I don't know, but w- w- Godspeed to you, Ashley Judd. She's a Where's double. my stimulus check, Scott? She's I need in- to go to the Congo to rescue Ashley Judd. Go for it. One she's would, famous. One she's would, a treasure. Oh, my God. One would say she's in Devil Jeopardy. <laughs> that was, a, that was, that was a, a Scott joke. That was a vaguely okay movie she was in like 20 years ago. Was, I think Michael was, Douglas was in no, it. No, Morgan Freeman. Oh my god. Was Morgan Freeman? No, he was in it. He no, was in, in the Spider's Web with her or something like oh, that. Oh, into the Spider's Web. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was a good movie oh, too. Yeah, that was a good movie. Jay Bird saying have... long live Larry Flint. Larry Flint died. Ah, yes. Oh my god. Yes. I actually just remembered the thank you for that, uh Jay Bird. Yes, uh Larry Flint Larry Flint, the Flint. um the Flint Flint the uh founder of Hustler magazine. Uh, one of my favorite reading materials when I was a small child. Really? Yeah. Unfortunately passed away. Oh, yeah, I like Hustler. Reading oh, materials, Scott? I mean, I read the captions. I mean, I had mm. to find the girl's name somewhere. All right, we, we should move on. From Larry Flint? To a partially clothed woman attacking a man with a pitchfork. Oh, you're more interested in that than Larry Flint? Yeah, no, he, nobody cares about Larry Flint. Some people do. Maybe he was murdered by this pitchfork-wielding woman. He may have been. Or Bonobos. Because they are rampant, and he is rich. Are bonobos really a thing? They are. Yes, Google. You have Google. Bonobos. Bonobos. Are we still talking about bonobos? We're going to talk about this partially clothed woman who attacks a man with a pitchfork. Bonobos <laughs> official men's clothing. So I have questions. <laughs> look up. <laughs> look up an image. Look up an image. So Go Ashley to Judd was mauled by an, an upscale, upscale e-commerce driven, driven apparel. apparel subsidiary of Walmart. Ah, subsidiary of Walmart. Yes. Wow. Yes, please. Go to the images. I'm going. So oh my God, there's so many bonobos on the East Coast. 
<laughs> there's a whole there's a whole lot of, there's bananas, a lot on of bananas, bananas on the east coast it's not bananas you read the story it said she was studying banana. Banana. There oh you go. my god those are adorable but those are oh they're, they're, they have aggressive nipples <laughs> very aggressive nipples you could have pulled up a bonobo sky they look like cancer and then you'd monkeys, be happy honestly. too oh my god they have such large ass wow that is my god the hemorrhoids on that monkey <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes so hoping we're going to move along but apparently okay let's move on to the let's scott's let's very excited it. about this story pitchfork. about pitchfork, pitchfork. no let's i'd like it. to move this thing along because now we're 20 minutes in this episode and we got a lot to get to guys we do a partially do we? clothed woman in virginia attacked a man with a pitchfork she stabbed him in the arm he has non-life-threatening injuries the woman fled the first taser that hit her had no effect, so we're not sure exactly what was going on with her. She's being held without bond, and those of us that are looking at it on screen, it's not the silhouetted figure that you were hoping for. No, we have a mugshot. Oh, oh, that's not a woman. Oh no, that's a man. That how did she get a hold of a pitchfork? Uh, well, she was partially it. clothed. Was she it should a have pitchfork been of sausages that she was trying clothed. to eat? <laughs> was it a pitchfork of sausages? It's, she's your basic Virginian, I guess it would be. Whoa, um, whoa, wow. whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know. Whoa, I, whoa. I, I know that, someone that was from Virginia. Is that is that is that insulting to people from Virginia? Or? And you thought I was insulting people? I was strictly talking about bonobos, Scott. Now you're I just insulting know. an entire state. Whoa, my girlfriend is from Virginia. <laughs> I don't think you have a girlfriend because oh, I, mean, I haven't people, seen her on the chat. Multiple you people in the chat. Doc multiple says people that's in his the girlfriend. Chat. Okay, I, it's true. Uh, go, oh, to li- go to live chat. A couple people have said that. Already. That's clearly his girlfriend. And did she attack you with a pitchfork or was it just a cooking utensil? Uh, well, it was a, 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 a trident of dildos. <laughs> that is not, no. That's well, not what that's, happened. That's that's the she was third clearly cooking sausages. That's the third uh, person saying that's Noob Noob's girlfriend. So that's confirmation there. We definitely that's know that rude. This. To Noob Noob Noob's has girlfriend. a no fatties policy though. Whoa! Oh, dude! No fatties. What's, what? Oh, come on! With you? What is? Yeah, come on! So Put the drinky today. down. Yeah, that's what I say. Tone it down. Jeez. Tone it down. Tone, tone, tone it next? down. You mean trim it down. What's uh, next? Super trim Bowl spot. hot pink body thongs. Please. Ho- oh, I wanted it to be Tom Brady. You know a little bit about this story. I though. wanted it to be Tom Brady. He actually has some insight to this story. Why well, do? Yeah. You told me about it. No. Mm. Didn't you write? Don't you write the news? I did. Yes. So uh, the story is, uh, I guess, because oh, I don't know. What, oh, that's the streaker. You remember now? Yeah. Oh, what do you oh. have? He there forgot. You he, you, what, you already don't know what it is. How uh, you? Yeah, no, it's it's the. <laughs> how do you? It's the uh, the guy who rigged the Super Bowl. Oh my God! Noob Noob's girlfriend says she had to gain weight. What? The, she, what is going on here? Weight. Well, because that's because Noob Noob likes them thick. No. So we, uh, nope. We nope, have nope, that. Nope, nope. So apparently, during this last Super Bowl that just went by, the odds of someone storming the field was 1 in 75, which meant a $1,000 bet would net you $75,000. That sounds like a pretty good bet. That sounds yeah. like a pretty good bet. Apparently, this guy we're looking at screen here, his name is Yuri, won $370,000. Because, because he, he bet someone would streak. Because he took that bet. I saw no seventy five. He bet like five, like fifty k or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So apparently, and this is the story that he won three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Now, here lies the issue, and it's not just with the excessive amount of man ass that's sticking Woo, out under too his much man shorts. Ass. The bet was flagged for serious irregularities, meaning the guy who placed the bet was the guy who ran out on the field. Mm-hmm. That's called manipulating the bet. That's called or it's called karma. Karma. You know what so, you get. You get what you deserve, Scott. <laughs> you get what you, you get. get. What so you deserve. The three hundred seventy thousand dollars that you're supposedly won will not be going to him. Gambling sites said that money will get, will money will be given back, but any winnings that are connected to this fixed bet are forfeited. So he what tried. What if someone just innocently bet that there was going to be a streaker? Well, unfortunately, I guess that's also part of the bet. You have to realize that if you bet that there's going to be a streaker. But somebody goes and streaks with 
the intention of winning that bet, it's a fixed bet. Why have a prop bet like that when you can just fix the bet? I mean, that's like saying Tom Brady's been doing that for years. Oh, he's fixing been, the oh bet. God. He's been fixing the bet for years. Why do you think the guys won so much? You know that they uh, <laughs> they'll cancel us for that. I know, right? Whatever. We're going against Tom. Brady? Although, wait, isn't he racist now too? Tom I don't know. Brady? I'm losing track of everyone who's racist. Tom Brady's not racist. Yeah, at some point, everyone's been racist. He's once a, a while. white man who won everyone the Super Tom Bowl Brady. during Black History Month. I'm pretty sure he's against a black quarterback. Racist. Against a black quarterback. Yeah, that's racist. It's very racist. It's so racist. Even though Patrick Mahomes is a white mother. <laughs> you just said he's a white mother? No, I said he has a white mother. What's wrong with his mother? Nothing. She seems like I'm a just beautiful saying. woman. She's nice. Very nice. Yeah. Although apparently she sent some crazy Instagram texts. Yeah, they, they were all like. <laughs> all of this is craziness. We're just trying to control it, folks. They were all pissed. We're giving you perspective. Yeah. So. So. Yes, Tampa trash. Due to Doc. Tampa, all of Florida is trash. What? What is with everybody insulting states today? Can't we just appreciate? We've the 50 insulted states? Florida like every other news story. I would do no such thing. But I but not speaking, if we're of gonna Florida. talk about Florida, let's talk about shit. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, it is because trucks drench a somebody in, in human waste. Oh, this is just a. Stinker of a story. What? <laughs> this, is, this is a shitty story here. So a dump truck carrying fertilizer had to slam the brakes when the pickup lost control. It went over some train tracks and hit a house. You see on screen here we have a red pickup, which is in somebody's front yard, completely covered and doused in excrement. And they said I thought it was human excrement. Now, now, that's the thing. So as I'm looking at the story, I'm finding fertilizer. But later on, they say that the pickup carrying human feces two That's questions terrible are we now using human shit for fertilizer probably and second question why is it that a truck an open bed long bed truck a, this not a dump truck this is a trailer truck this is an open bed trailer like the trash haulers that you see all over the place why is this carrying shit or like, like a gravel truck why why it's a gravel truck why isn't this thing enclosed or covered because shit's gonna spill out <laughs> come on that's a lot of feces that's, yeah Apparently, why? when when it all came out it smashed the back window of the truck driver itself he was partially covered fortunately the, the seat saved most of it the pickup driver who by the way was dressed in camouflage and carrying a rifle case mm. got up and left in he florida fl he fled the scene I don't have. Uh, yeah, it is in Florida. This is a Florida. This is story. the second worst story I've ever heard about feces dropping on someone. Do you guys recall the Dave Matthews story where his uh, his truck or no his his tour bus pulled the plug on their their uh, lavatories and dropped it all over an what? open jeep? Oh, I think yeah, that happened. Story time with Z. Well, I I mean I wasn't there, but Matthews band. If you those are. You would have known about such band as Dave Matthews Band, named after uh, musician Dave Matthews, who used to act as Dave Matthews in movies, but not many. And Dave Matthews. <laughs> Nobody cares about Dave Matthews. Who's it? Can you name Why a single Dave you... Matthews Band song? Yeah, the Space Between. The Space Between. Why would you say something, something so wrong? That's one good song I like from Dave Matthews. It's a terrible song. That's actually the probably the worst song I ever heard. Yeah, never them talk wrong on me like that. Dancing oh, Nancy's. Man. That's a good song. I don't know what that is. No one is knows. that the, da, 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 They're like a they're like a da, jam da, da, bandy da, type thing that were da, competing da, da, da. to take over from the dead back in the nineties when uh, the dead died and it was like between Fish and Dave Matthews. What is Dead Man Never Die? What is Dead May Never Die? Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, uh, Pedro Pascal got cast as... Uh, Knuckle Media, friends. Oh, my God, Knuckles. Who's racist? Tom Who's Brady's racist? Brady? Ta yeah, Tom Brady is Knuckles. racist. Maybe you're racist. No, you Tom Brady's about racist. Food for thought. <laughs> Food for thought, Knuckles. Oh, so oh wait, what were, we, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, oh yeah, okay. Dave, Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews shit all over... Uh, they were on a bridge, something. and they and, and somehow the, the driver pulled the plug on the... the uh, their... Uh, whatever that holds in, you know, in a tour bus that holds all the, the poo and it, it fell onto a car below, like one whole deck below. It was not pleasant. 
they got they he sued and law and, and won a lot of money and they got shit it off. So yes, moving on. Yeah, speaking of moving on, let's let's hulk it up. Let's have some female empowerment here. Ooh, let's get hulky. Let's get green and hulky. Mm, now that uh, could you imagine a, a beautiful She Hulk, just like eight feet tall, vivacious, intelligent. She's a lawyer. Do I think you, uh, she was a test pilot. Do you need a minute, Z? No, I'm just saying she's a great character. I'm looking that, forward to seeing her that, on Disney Plus. If I don't cancel it first, but that, let's go to Disney. Shaking. So, so yeah, so we are familiar with the She-Hulk character. We've seen her for many, Whoa. many years in comic books. You see her in her very early issues here, the sensational She-Hulk. Um, and yes, this this character has always, forever been curvaceous, beautiful, a strong, very strong female character. Don't we agree? Yeah, she's awesome. I, I think uh, Tatiana Maslany. It'll be interesting to see. I'm excited. Yes, even in multiple iterations of her, she's always had that like female physique about her. Correct. Mm, correct. <laughs> so yeah. why the hell in this last February issue of Avengers 42 did they present us with this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nope. That's not no, real. no, 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 no. That is no, a no, man. No, 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 no. That's a man. No, 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 no. no it's no. not a man. It's 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 supposed to be She-Hulk. Although Isn't... everything that made her She-Hulk is now gone. She's basically the Hulk in some sort of weird kilt thing. She kind of looks like the Hulk. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. And there is not much uh, female. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Now, I do quite a bit of controversy over this because that Star Wars girl, the uh, YouTuber, made some adjustments to the character to make yes. her better. She came up on Twitter. She said she saw this and had to do a draw over because holy shit, she did a Marvel versus that Star Wars girl image, and you see she did Look, some upgrades to the character look she made her smile she's she looks a little feminine she has a little more hair nope she has some chesticles nope she's more curvy. you don't like the one on the right is no, at both least of them are pretty bad it's Let's... still a step up though correct? yeah it's a step up sure she no longer has a wang protector in between her legs uh that's seriously not a woman like that's a man which one both, but no, but the, the left one most definitely a man. <laughs> Pretty sure it the, says the, the original one. What does it say on the screen? What the <laughs> what the fuck? And then what's the what second the screen fuck? say? What fuck? Yes. <laughs> what fuck? What fuck? Uh yeah, that's so why that's like an official. Why did Marvel. they do that? Why did they do why? What is well, Marvel doing? So so apparently I've heard rumors were like this is supposed to be the storyline. She's reverting back to a more um like uh, uh man Hulk Hulk style like mentality, like very visceral, not as smart as she used to be. So her body is transforming along with that. To a man's? So and men are a, stupid. So, so men are well, the problem. Well, the new writer for Hulk does hate men, but that's another story altogether. <laughs> but th you can see from the image, the, the, the chest has pretty much gone down to nothing. The curves aren't there anymore, which is why that Star Wars is going to decide to go ahead and fix it. I... Don't like it, but I know why I don't like it more than anything else, and it's got to be this face. I don't know you what don't like the face. exactly this face is. This is like, like something like looks like a masculine face. A scroll. This is like a scroll kind of like or the leader or strong jaw. It's just this weird. It's it's just this weird no face where like we've seen She Hulk for years and has always been a jovial fun character and now it's this. This is just they so got some, weird. Why does Mickey? And make her more powerful. Isn't that uh, misogynistic? Why that's, can't that's she kinda, just be strong on her own? Yeah, it is kind you of know? misogynistic in its own. Um, so you're the, saying that the woke left of strong female characters? I think we've just we're going so far that we're going out the other side. People that want equality have just that now we're flipping out the other side yes. as far yes. as I'm concerned. Hopefully but the actual She-Hulk does looks not like look like this. Looks like our whole YouTube feed well, has paused. Well, actually, it's curious as what the whole. Uh, what do we say? Our YouTube paused. Yes, our YouTube has seems to have paused, oh, and we're back. We're back. And we're back. So apparently, the new She-Hulk series is going to be an interesting development, considering that one of the mm -hmm. writers is extremely um, hates men. 
basically. There's uh, no other way to say it. Oh, boy. So so this storyline goes where Dana Schwartz, a new writer for the Hulk, She-Hulk series in the upcoming She-Hulk series, says, in retrospect, it seems impossible to overstate the cultural damage done by South Park to show that portrayed earnestness as the only sin and taught that mockery is the ultimate inoculation against all criticism. Very smartly said. You use a lot of big words. You sound really smart. But basically, she's saying that South Park is a piece of shit. Okay. Okay. That's an, that's an opinion. The response it got back, she didn't like. People were saying, you're an asshole. South Park's great. And apparently, we're death threats, which we don't agree with any of that. But her response to that is, Has a death threat on Twitter ever actually led to a single death? No. I tweeted okay. a pretty mild opinion about a TV show on my own personal Twitter account of like a week ago. I've been getting multiple death threats every day since, which is also stupid. Like, LOL, is there something that women are allowed to have an opinion on? No. <laughs> well, a in resounding Noob, no for, for Noob, Noob, Noob. Noob says no, but really, is this what you're trying to say, is that you talk bad about South Park, so you're a woman, you're not allowed to have an opinion? No, you're not allowed to talk bad about South Park, because the South Park fans are rabid. We'll follow this up. With somebody who made a comment on her and calling her out for her own shit, and she's hoping that you don't fuck up an iconic character created by a company that has grown the IP for nearly 50 years. Dana Swartz's response to that criticism was, men really need to take a deep breath. The funny thing is with that, the comment she's responding to from Juicy J Revival is a woman. Ah, uh, yes. So she doesn't even know who she's talking so to. So she doesn't know who she's talking to. She's assuming that every bad comment coming towards her is from men, she hates men. It's been cleared many a times, and this is now somebody that's going to be writing for She-Hulk. What's going to happen in the storyline? I don't know. Is it going to be screwed up? Probably. Because she has no experience behind her. She's not writing for anything. She's never proven that she has any writing abilities. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. There is a really weird big problem in the comic book in industry in including the next story we'll get to is pretty pretty div divisive divisive uh, divisive divisive and we'll we'll ex maybe we'll explore some of it but uh there's some issues coming from the uh what is it the high republic uh star wars star wars is a freaking mess let's just put it that way noob, lucas film yeah what noob, noob, what's going on over there Gina Carano is uh clapping back after she got fired from Disney and uh, I, I forget exactly. She did like bleep bloop blopping something or other. Well, she that's got, not technically why she got fired, but sure. She got no. fired for some. That that was stupid. that was strike one. You see here on the screen here, Gina Carano and her last role. But I don't see her in her last <laughs> yeah, role. See she I still see her. She oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, that's She Hulk. I I was confused there for a second. I wasn't sure. The wow. she Gina Carano is a strong, oh, powerful woman. So, oh, I'm so. Uh, there we go. That's Gina I'd Carano. I have sexy time with her, perhaps. I mean, if, I, I, maybe. Do you see a difference? I don't. Anyway. Oh really? Wow. God. So Lucasfilm oh says. Lord. Wow. Lucasfilm says Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilms, and there are no fl plans. I misspelled that for her plans. to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Also a lot of big words. But she got fired. She's done. Out. Do not pass go. Do not collect return. Do not collect $200. You are out. Well, that remains to be seen. We're not 100% sure what's going on right now because apparently the executives felt that they needed to fire her over a Instagram and Twitter post that depicted uh, – she made a comparison of Republicans to – well, to how the Jews were treated pre-Holocaust. In uh, the Holocaust. She, I think she it was pre-Holocaust, but sure. I saw the cartoon. I, I think she's really referring to people being round up in the streets prior to the Holocaust, but I get where she's going with it and uh, not necessarily be the smartest of criticisms. But, um, but before that, before that, she stirred up dust on social media. She made comments about people wearing masks and voter fraud, so she was a cuist. And in November, she made fun of those using pronouns on social media by listing beep, bop, boop, in her Twitter bio. At the time, my understanding was that people were demanding that she accepted that and change her own. So she changed her own to beep, bop, boop. 
Which so, is pretty funny. The story I heard was that she was actually getting bullied by people that were demanding that she identify. Oh, she got death threats. For I don't sure. know There's... what the hell that story was. What it sounds like, though, with this with Call this comment racist. she made recently about the Holocaust and Nazi soldiers, that was pretty much strike three or four that led to it. They were looking to get her out the door, and now they finally had exactly what they needed. But you know what's fascinating about this, Scott? We covered a story where Pedro Pascal compared people to Yahtzees, right? Yahtzees? He's, yes, Yahtzees. The game Yahtzee? Like well, when you do you want to get pulled for – I mean, you know, we only get – we get strikes on us for everything else. So I'm trying to avoid any oh, more strikes against us. Follow what I'm it saying here? It rhymes with Yahtzee. But oh, it's, it's an oh, yes. name – but Yahtzee makes sense. Yes. Yes. They, see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. They wore they wore armbands and yes. used There's an whole... old and used an old Buddhist symbol, but turned it 45 degrees. Correct. So uh... my points would be that he uh, posted something comparing you know 75 million voters to Yahtzees. So it seems like there's a bit of a double standard there, Lucasfilm. Not to mention in the High Republic. They have, uh, you know, people who like to post on Twitter who apparently are actual. Well, I don't, I don't want to call. I hate to call people racist because, may, you know, it's pretty difficult to find an actual racist anywhere. But people who hold the really? opinion that uh, actual card carrying racists. When was the see, last time you ever met an actual see, card carrying racist? <laughs> Did you, you see, ever see one? Whoa, you, whoa, 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 I see whoa, whoa. them all the time. Love every fr- them. every Friday love night, them all. every Friday night, I have to stare at one through a screen. I would love to round them all up, bring them to my house, and just cuddle. Uh-huh. I would straight up round everybody up to aggressively cuddle all of them, all of like you know Asians, black people, white people, even Mexican people, Albanian people, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Can you center it and focus more on his face? <laughs> Perhaps his teeth. Uh, yeah. So, um, boop, boop, boop. Beep, boop, bop. Beep, boop, bop. Yeah. I think we're cool, good. Cool stories yeah. in the chat asking how we can not see the point. Cool story. If you see a different opinion on it, let us know. Yeah. So it's, uh, it, it's kind of a, it, it, it well, the the other weird thing is uh, James Gunn is a pl- is apparently liking or applauding a you know the firing of Gina Carano. Yet this dude got fired for the exact same thing. So I don't know. I, I just feel like uh, Hollywood is a little messed up. You know, I, I just I don't understand what is wrong with people. Can't we just all get along? I mean, it'd be nice, nice conversation, but we can't in this world. It's not possible. Yeah, I, I don't understand. So I, I don't feel like she deserves to be fired. I, I think uh, if you're going to fire her, you might as well as fire Pedro Pascal. And if you're going to fire Pedro Pascal, you might as well as fire the writers of uh, the High Republic. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Cool story. I did not see what you were doing there. You know, you have to understand, folks. <laughs> we have freaking copyrights us from spain and every other episode we get copied yeah. we had to rewrite i literally had to write music all new music for the show because every other episode we were getting copyright strikes and i don't use we that just music. can't have them anymore we can't get pulled we got pulled YouTube with- can't kick our butts any we, further than they already have we just got pulled from spain because of a flying snake video that i showed a couple weeks ago like what? <laughs> it's a freaking snake. <laughs> yeah, on like, a freaking plane. On a freaking plane. Like, it's just, it's, re- we just, we're tired of getting uh, pulled. Man. We got pulled. What were we talking? What We got pulled in the middle, in the middle of one of our feeds because we talked about, we're, uh, we were talking bad on a Netflix episode. And we Netflix talked about was a, Netflix watching, show. a Netflix show. It was a show porn and, Netflix movie. And Netflix was watching, and Netflix said goodbye. And we got yeah. dropped during an episode. So, all right, enough. Uh, I, you know, enough of Gina yeah. Carano. Enough get of outrageous. getting copyright strikes. Let's, let's just let's go. Just let's get on. outrageous. Let's get outrageous, shall we? Let's go to some Ork Tales. Cause it's not a mystery. We're making history. It's now time for some outrageous Ork Tales. Woo! I think 
that's louder than the others. I'm gonna have to fix it. Just that. for <laughs> Sam Jr., you got a taste of Scott singing. Just for Sam <laughs> We're not on right McDonald's. There. Maybe we are on McDonald's Wi-Fi. We I you know, we're stealing McDonald's McDonald's Wi-Fi. Budget cuts on the Orc U show. Yes, sir. It's funny because yes, we actually we haven't had lag from you two for weeks. Actually, that problem was fixed. Tonight, a couple little bags here and there. You know, maybe it's just the weather. Who knows? We got snow here. It sucks. I yes, snow. the snow is damaging everything. So and there's the more on the way. So what's one of our outrageous <clears throat> tales tonight, noobers? So a and litits, litits, litits. Do you know anything about? I think it's in Pennsylvania. Do you know you. anything about about someone who may have vocally been mistaken for a Sasquatch who lived near oh, there? Did Scott live in Lititz? I may have lived very near to Lititz at some point. Lititz. In, in, in the near past. But yes, I lived right on the actually border of Lititz, Pennsylvania. But out there in Lititz, Pennsylvania. I just look saying Lititz, Lititz. I don't have any info on this because there's really no info. There was a Bigfoot sighting, and it wasn't actually a true Bigfoot sighting. If you see it on the screen there, you see a tweet from Lidditz Police. They're saying you never know what you're going to find on Night Shift. Hashtag Lidditz Police. Hashtag Bigfoot. Hashtag Bigfoot sighting. And from the edges there, you can see a silhouette of Bigfoot on the side (laughs) of a house. Actually, this was very creatively done. It was a spotlight with a little... It looks like little Chewbacca, teeny, actually. Tiny Chewbacca. Little tiny Bigfoot figurine casting a shadow up on the side of the house. It's Creative, pretty freaking awesome. Creatively done. Pretty awesome. I like it. I may do it one day. I'm going to steal that person's idea. We'll see. Why not? Just take it. Why not? It's fun. We can just steal ideals. Hey, ideas. everybody steals stuff from our show, so we and might then, as well as steal stuff from the police. And then we'll put it up on YouTube and we'll get banked for it. So that's that's a cute <laughs> little fun story there. Noob, do you have any more info on that? Uh, More info on the fake Sasquatch <laughs> sighting? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, Scott, uh, reporting from Lidditz uh, County. Uh, I heard that Bigfoot was probably a racist. Uh, <laughs> I heard that there was a likelihood. Probably a closet to... homosexual. <laughs> yeah. Definitely hates white people. <laughs> uh, probably. Might have went to the Super Bowl because COVID's not real. Um, Probably did. Probably attended uh, the Super Bowl. Pro- probably actually Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady is actually Sasquatch. Uh, yes. Or is it Gronk? Or sh- sh- oh we did God. pass on a Gronk story, so just FYI. Did we? Oh my Yes, God. we made executive decisions what to pass on stories. What we didn't pass stories. on is a gorilla story. No, this it's not a gorilla a story. A gorilla glue story. A gorilla glue story. Because some bitch put gorilla glue in her hair. <laughs> can we uh, can we have the gorilla glue challenge? World's stupidest human being. <laughs> This was out of Louisiana, actually. We were expecting this that to be out of Florida or Texas, but it came out of Louisiana. What's wrong with Texas? <laughs> they were, they're, they're our second Florida, because we have an, all our stores from Florida. We had a Texas store the other week that felt like it was supposed to be from Florida, but it wasn't. Mm. This one's from Louisiana. This woman, that you see here on the, this woman that you see on the screen here ran out of Got to Be Hairspray. It's G-O-T, the number two and a B. It's very fancy, very creative. So she ran out of that hairspray. She decided to use a Gorilla Glue, gorilla glue spray Ooh. adhesive Aww. on her hair. Her hairstyle is one of those little flat, very it's flat hairstyles. It doesn't. It's very tight on her head. Apparently, her hair had not moved for a <laughs> month. <laughs> Oh, she sweetheart. tried. <laughs> she she tried olive oil, tea tree oil, and other concoctions, and was unable to get the glue out of her hair. I t- I don't even. I can't. Why I, would no. you? He- it literally says heavy duty on the fucking bottle. Uh, it says glue. It says glue. glue. It says do not use on skin. Keep out of eyes, mouth, nose, nostrils. Do not use. You know. It, apparently, they have to put it. Don't use it on your hair as well. I Lest think she I put heard, this on TikTok. Yeah, last I heard, she apparently was like going to try and sue them or something, which I wouldn't be surprised. This country's very she sue did. happy. She, she did. She did try to sue. She also put up a GoFundMe for well, her medical bills because she, she had to go she to didn't the hospital. Need, she didn't really need that, but a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon offered to do the $12,500 oh. procedure for free. The four-hour procedure oh, was successful. No. And she now... No, has has the gorilla glue out of her hair. Although does she, she did, have her hair? 
She still has her hair, as you can see so on the screen to there. She shave her head? She's, well, as you see there, she's under right now. They're slowly peeling the glue out of her hair while they're in surgery. Oh, oh, are we going to get pulled for this, too? She's anathized. We may get pulled. No, we give credit to, to New York Post, who I stole this from earlier. Oh, my God. But, but she cut her ponytail off. She's saying, I wish I'd known this before I cut the ponytail off. Four hours of this, of them just picking through her hair and slowly oh. peeling... All that gorilla glue out of there. Did they have to put her under for this? I don't it, even want to know. I don't want to know like anymore. Nobody cares. All it I want to like know. They did have to put her under. Her eyes are covered there. It looks like she's starting to come too. She's lifting her head and holding it up uh, on her own. This woman is too stupid to uh, to get all her I airtime. all I want to know is did they harvest her skeleton? So they could play guitar. Yep. And here she is. Mom. She has her hair. She's she's so happy. Oh my god! Look so nails. happy. What the fuck? Running she's her awesome hand, now. running her fingers through her hair. Now she's so happy. Look, like she's on a character on claws. Where the hell that TNT show is? I'm about not even nails. sure. Actually, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not even sure if you could have cut that hair off with that gorilla glue in there. <laughs> like the way that it was in there, like you probably. I don't know if you could have. I mean, you get it on your skin. You have to wait until it just wears off. Like he. Doc says there's a second guy who did this, but he did it with a red cup. <laughs> yes, I just heard this one too. So after this came out, the guy came out and he's like, I bet you that I can take this red cup and glue it to my lip and lick it off. I'm going to lick off the Gorilla uh, Glue to remove it from my lip. So after he was transported to emergency <laughs> surgery to have it removed from his lip, now they're saying that if his lip doesn't heal naturally, they're going to have to replace the tip. With artificial skin, probably from his ass. I don't fucking know. What an idiot. Uh, Ron Stone Cold Killer blames the chemtrails. Oh my that God. What uh, we can't blow looking to talk uh, skeleton up. guitars. This those could are be the coolest guitar I've ever seen. Out of his dead uncle. Oh, these are real skeleton oh, bones. It, was, it appears to be. I mean, that's I weird. don't know because I think that's a crime in the United States, but we'll go with it for now. So. Yeah, well, this guy's in the United States. And it's a crime. Guitarist Prince he, Midnight. The Prince crime, Midnight. The, actually, the crime is if he can't resell the guitar. He can't sell that guitar. Building it was not the crime. If he tries to sell Isn't it, it improper then disposal it's of a be, corpse. No. He can't. It wasn't because New has a story in front of him about how this was like the workaround. Uh, he decided to turn Uncle Philip into a guitar that plays perfect and sounds awesome. Okay. So uh, Uncle Phil, what? Uncle Phil, Uncle Philip, who passed away in Greece in the '90s when the motorcycle accident, donated his skeleton to a local college, and it was medically prepared for the school. After 20 years, it wasn't in the college anymore. It was then ended up in a cemetery. But in that cemetery, the family had to pay rent on it. There's of course no cremation over there because of the Orthodox views. Midnight contacted the authorities to get the box of bones shipped to him, which it did. After showing them off for a little bit, he decided that, you know what? Uncle Philip, who we have here, was an old metalhead who taught... Oh, that guy's cool. ...who taught Prince Midnight about metal and he rock. totally would want and to be And taught metal. him how to rock. So he decided that, you know what? What would Uncle Philip like? He would like to be a guitar. So oh, my built God. Can you, you can't, I don't know. Can we play this? So I, I kind of have to hear. So I mean, he we're not monetized. Philip so. Skeletas, Skelecaster, which I'm playing the video the right now. The, the Philip Skelecaster is called. I'm playing the video right now. And now I'm going to go ahead over to the uh, guitar. So that way the video we and should audio is not going to match. Bit. Dude, his uncle sounds, I know it's hard to hear, but his uncle sounds awesome. All credit to his uncle for being an awesome metal guitar. I mean, that's some pretty shitty guitar playing, so I think anybody could tell, like, it just sounds like a guitar. Well, it's, it that's sounds like a guitar. He said it has its quirks. Keep it in tune doesn't really happen. You can't really strum it because of the rib cage, as you see there. Oh, my gosh. He had to, he had to like, bolt in a metal uh, steel rod to actually attach what the neck was actually from a Fender Telecaster. Um, and he had to wire it. not very metal. And a he had Telecaster is not super metal. No, but he had to wire it up, what you see there. Oh, let's get back to that screen. 
That's pretty off. cool. He put some pickups in there. God damn it. Stop it. Stop moving it's around. Going. There we go. Pick so yeah, up. so you see the image there. He's got the pickups in there. It's wired. He used blue and red wiring, kind of like veins going through. And the the mic, the input or output jack is in his hip bone. You see that? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you see bone. that sticking out the top there, sticking out the hip bone. So it's it's, it's the the skeleton itself was already preserved to be a school, you know, a teaching instrument. So it's not like the bones are right out of the ground. It's not like you know they just waited for the the meat to melt off it they were actually prepped so yes legally he can make it can he sell it no he can't he can't sell his uncle's bones no he can't sell his uncle bones his mother said that it was sacrilegious in the work of the devil oh. when, Mid when midnight asked her do you think uncle phil would rather be a guitar or a box of bones of course his mom threw her arms up in the air and says probably the guitar so <laughs> she 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 in the end accepted it as well, and now he has. Nice. It. And you know what? It's as as weird as it is. I think it's kind of cool that he has Where's like the his case uncle for it? that taught him metal and taught him to rock is now forever with him whenever he sits down and plays Uncle. Phil. Why didn't he think to make a case out of his uncle's skin? That because okay. That was That's all long because that was all long gone because the don the skin the skeleton should have thought of this ahead of time. School. So people they're preparing your wills, will advice. We look frozen. But oh. turn, turn, some will turn, advice. Turn turn your skeleton into a guitar. Please donate your body to your relatives so they can harvest your organs, so, harvest your skin and your bones, and turn you into musical instruments. When I Scott, die. Scott, you telling me you would not want to be turned into a drum kit? No, I'm gonna uh, no, I'm donating my body to the bomb range. We had a what? store that, that we, we, we we had a store that came out probably last year, the year before, that a man found out his grandma was donated to a bomb range instead of to something else, and they were blowing her body up in the means of science. That's how I want to go. Donate my ass to the bomb range. Blow, blow, I'd blow, blow up this bag of bones. I'd still prefer to turn your scrotum into a uh, snare drum, but sure. I can actually, uh, you know what? I will. Uh, donate the rest of my body then to the bomb range, but take my scrotum and make it into the skin for a snare drum that goes to Z. You heard it here, folks. Turn noob noob into a guitar. So when I die, I turn noob noob into a skin flute. Into yes, <laughs> a into skin the Pied Piper. <laughs> and just play. He's me not all cool night enough long. to be a guitar. He'd we have to turn him into a skin flute. No, he would, and he would always be out of tune. I don't think he would ever get that thing in tune. Put your lips on my flute, baby. <laughs> so, should we move to reviews? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yes, let's please move to reviews. Reviews. Bite my shiny metal ass. Reviews, reviews, reviews. <laughs> These are the reviews. Tonight, you. In the chat, Jay Bird says Scott wants to be a hockey stick. Jay, I never get that hard. Wait, what? Oh, my God. oh, oh man, I just made myself sad. Oh boy. Mm, All right, he's not hard enough to be a hockey stick. <laughs> okay. Scott. I made myself sad. But, oh. but you are big enough for the expanse. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. That was, that was, that, you uh, slick to slid that right in there. I'll allow it. <laughs> so, the expanse uh, yeah. season five just finished up on Amazon Prime. Expanse, if we remember, was on regular TV for two or three seasons. I don't remember the was exact, but it was picked up. Maybe sci fi. I think sci fi. But it was picked up by Amazon Prime, and season five has just been in and done on Amazon Prime. All five seasons are on Amazon Prime. So if you want to get into this series, you can from one to five. And that's what I did. I found out about season five. I jumped in from season one, and I went through and marathoned the entire thing. I enjoyed it. I think just that if enjoyed it. You don't love it? I enjoyed it. I'm not going to say I love it. There's certain things about it that I do find irritating. But 
I like it. I'm like, uh, but I'm into the sci-fi. I'm into the space stuff. If you're not into that stuff, you're gonna, probably going to hate this show. There if you're are Trekkie plenty- and you're looking for some hard sci-fi, is this not a good place to be? Uh, no, actually, if you're a Trekkie, you're looking for some hard sci-fi, this is a good place to be. There are a couple things that are interesting. Um, like, they do play around with zero-G. They don't have artificial gravity, but as long as the ship's running, as the long as the engines are on, people are actually walking because, of course, the inertia of the ship picking up speed is causing them to walk. Makes sense. In order to save money on graphics when they're not there, when they're supposed to be floating through space, to use magnetic boots. All you have to do then is add a clunk-clunk sound afterwards when people are walking around. Very well played. Look clunky. So well, some, some of it is actually very well thought out, and some of it's just because it's cheaper for us to do it this way than it is you know to spend money on the effects itself. I know people supposedly love this show. They so here's fantastic. the you tell me how accurate this series info is because it's very succinct. A detective search for a missing heiress in space coincides with the destruction of a freighter. That's that all. Sounds like season one. That's, that's all season one. Yep, that's oh, season really? one. Yep. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. That's actually that's actually what it says on Amazon Prime when you pull it up on season one, and they go through. There's 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 some sort of like alien thing they're dealing with, and there's three factions: Earth, Mars, and Belters. The one thing that is annoying me now is they created this Belter language. You help, which you hate the Belters. It's it's not exactly. I don't hate the Belters because there's good and there's bad. There's extremists. There's extremist belters, just like there's extremist everything, and there's regular belters that aren't extremist. But they built this language up, which almost is like they they de-evolutionized. Because now the language is very quick. And yeah, hey, hey, boss man, hey, we go and we go space and we travel and we go launch missiles. Like they they took out a lot of language. They made it almost like you know they they shrunk them back. It's like to make their own language. It's, it's a very weird thing, which is starting to really irritate me. Not sounds enough like for me pigeon. to hate the show, though. What's sounds that? like a language called pigeon. I mean, the the numbers are pretty great on it. The Rotten Tomatoes, uh, the tomato meter, ninety four percent. The audience score is also ninety four percent. So everyone seems to like it. And it looks like the seasons go from like the first season was seventy seven percent, but the rest of it is like ninety five percent. It's Scroll very, very, very well done. A cool thing 100%, about... 100%, 100%, like all the other seasons look like they're really pretty good. A very cool thing to do with season five because you've had four seasons of these characters. Of course, season one is the characters meet each other. And then you have three more seasons of the characters all in the same ship. With season five, they actually separated all of them and you were able to explore their own storylines. You're able to go through and travel with each one individually which actually was a really well-done thing because as it was starting at stale, but doing this did reinvigorate everything. They, too, continue to go back to the same embedded storyline with this alien creature. But it is actually really well done. I enjoy it. I'm looking forward to season six. Is there? I thought, is that the final season? Season six, they said, is going to be the final season. One of the other interesting things about season six is if you look on the screen here, here's the four primary characters. On your far right is Alex, the pilot. Well, Alex, the pilot, won't be returning for season six because Alex, the pilot, has been accused in the Me Too movement. Oh, jeez. He got Me too He's a racist. He raped so, in zero G. So they, found, so they found a way to bring him out, and it was surprising what they did to him. I'm not going to spoil any more than that. They blew him up. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. But it was surprising and very abrupt what they did to him. And it was like, what the hell happened? So a quick internet search found out that, uh, yeah, he was accused of being, just basically being an asshole. I didn't say anything too inflammatory, but apparently he was just an egotistical bitch. Oh. So so he got written out. But instead of replacing him with another character, they decided to kill him. Spoilers, sorry. There you go. Wow. But yeah, you ruined so, it, Scott. You ruined, ruined it. it. But yes, You're but season six, it. season six, they're gone. But so apparently, this is based off of a book, a series of books. So they're in part six now for the series, but the books go to like to book number seventeen. Maybe they'll something. have like little short movies or something about it afterwards. We'll Either see. That, I've or heard. There's also conversation of taking all the rest of the books and compressing them into season six. So it's going to be very fast paced, apparently. I have heard from other YouTubers like Nerd Rotic and I think Adverse 
like a handful of others who have all said that if you hate Picard and Discovery, you should watch The Expanse. Critical, very good too. Actually, yeah, that's not a bad way to go about it. If you hated those Expanse, Expanse is back to bare bones. It's it's the beginning of a human space travel. Um, it's got one alien species they're dealing with. It's and the alien species they're dealing with. It's a constant mystery as it goes along. <laughs> what they do with it's very cool too. Yeah, if you don't like Picard, you don't like what Star Trek is doing. Definitely check out The Expanse. You know what someone should never check out? Firefly Lane on Netflix. And why because is that? I, I, I couldn't even tell you because I only got through one episode and uh, it was number one on Netflix when I watched it. I think it's currently number two still. So brand new show starring Katherine Heigl and uh, Sarah Chalky from Scrubs as best friends. And Wait, uh, is that, I didn't even recognize her. Yeah, which one? Sarah, Sarah Chalky. Chalky. Either of them? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't really know her from anything. I know Sarah Chalky because I was an old Scrubs fanatic. But you don't yeah, know I didn't. Catherine I didn't Heigl recognize her at all. I know Grey's who Catherine Anatomy. Heigl is. I, I. You know what? I don't know either because I didn't watch Grey's Anatomy. Well, she was only one of the most popular characters on one of the most popular shows. And then so, she became bitchy, and everyone hates her now. She was also in a Steven Seagal movie. So yeah. was she really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was like Steven Seagal's. Daughter. Oh my god. Know. Something she was in weird. Uh, a rom com with Gerard Butler too, The Ugly Truth. That was actually and quite good. Wasn't was she that- also in a Logan movie that kind of made the two of them famous? That kind of blew up their careers. Uh, uh oh my gosh. Not, not dude. Not yeah, knocked up. Was it is knocked she up? in knocked up? She's oh, in knocked she is up. in knocked up. Yeah. Yeah. She's the other star of knocked up, which yeah. kind of launched both their careers. Hmm. Say that. Interesting. No. Uh, in geez. retrospect, Seth Rogen is not cool or funny. Yeah. In retrospect, this show <laughs> sucks, Donkey Dick. Uh, I would. I got 23 minutes into the show, and I hit pause, and I was like, "Oh my god, there's 35 more minutes of this. I can't take it. Fucking thing sucks. I can't take it. No more. Stop. So uh, I stopped game it. Over, uh, game, game over, over man. What do we do now? What do we get? I what don't, are we gonna do? I can't watch it anymore, uh, man. I, I don't necessarily know what the show's if if you were to not read anything on the show and just like watch the first episode, first episode of a series is supposed to, you know, tell you what's going on, make you be attached to the show, make you want to watch more. This is not any of that. It like opens up, jumps between timelines for no fucking reason. There's a bunch of awkward characters. It They're, makes I, no I, I damn sense. I don't Nothing know. makes sense about it. They're like, I don't... Uh, For me to poop on. I, I, we do have... We had two specific notes that we wanted to touch on, besides the fact that, like... The show sucks. The one girl's mom is, like, a hippie who's the worst I, mom I, possible. Actually, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the production notes here, and it just raises more questions than anything yeah. else. Yeah. Why don't you tell us what they are, and then we'll try our best to All describe right, well, what happened. Our, First production note here is mustard teeth. Ah, yes. Yeah. So Sarah Chalky has a daughter in the normal. Who's supposed to be what? Like 16? Probably in early high school, let's say. And uh, this is in the year 2003 because that's a really yeah, great. Yeah, the setting is the exciting year of 2003. 2003. I don't know what really... you were doing in 2003. What happened in 2003? Yeah, very exciting. Two years post 9-11. That's the most let's I can see. come up with. 2003. Um Seducing Eve's first go round was still happening. I believe it was before before their second drummer. Post nine eleven, I was in grade school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was anyway. buying. I was buying my first house. Let's see. So so mustard teeth. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, uh, mustard Sarah, teeth. Sarah Chalky has a daughter, and she's out to lunch with Catherine Heigl, who's like a famous. Think of her as like a shitty Ellen DeGeneres, I guess. Yeah. And uh, oh, she's just terrifying. talking and, and drinking champagne for whatever reason. And I just can't notice anything but her fucking teeth. She looks <laughs> like she smoked 17 packs a day and took her mouth and slammed it into what, what's the fucking mustard? I don't know. Whatever. Yellow mustard, mustard. Yellow mustard. Yellow mustard. <laughs> yellow mustard. Fucking Heinz yellow. 57 slammed her face into it hard. <laughs> I don't understand, but it is. It's like this poor girl's teeth are rotting out of her face At a in the solid shade of 14 yellow. years old. I mean, we're talking like <laughs> we're talking like yellow teeth, people. Hey, this yellow. This, like 2003 this, uh, was a fairly modern time for. Oh wait, there's my Kenneth. caution tape. 
Yes, yeah. you're, the, the, that thicker teeth as the color of caution tape. It was weird. It's it's striking. You're just like, what's going on here? I uh, can't think of anything yeah. other than this girl's teeth. It's so crazy. That there was other than the show's teeth. There was that. Uh-huh. What was the other one? What was the other production note? Let's see. Uh, Go Go Boots. I thought there was another part. Oh, there Randy is. Guy. I said there were three. That was okay. two. Okay. Our second one was Go Go Boots. They both work together though, because we won't belabor this point. All right, but, so uh, let's 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 skip Go Go Boots and just go to the last one. That's a Vag Flash. Okay, so the producers of the show include Katherine Heigl, who I f- I'm fairly sure is kind of a feminist. She's all maybe about that have feminine been like a Me Tooer. I'm not. He, it's not her character, right? It's it's Sarah Schalke's character. Her, She's the one in Go Go Boots. Her character is like 17 years old or getting out of a car. First thing, I know it's the 70s, but she's seen on a human being. And she is what? She's not of legal age. Those old uh, VFW cars. type type uh, buses, right? Oh, like the old Volkswagen buses. And I'm telling you, man, there's a woman the protecting the people who... F- <laughs> Why are we showing this? To whatever that is. I don't was get it, it. Was it part of the story? It had what's nothing she doing, to do with what's the story. Doing, it was what's just she doing? a close-up on show or anything, but it was so a she, gratuitous so, scooter shot. So she wasn't doing a Paris Hilton coochie flash. It was a, a gratuitous snooter shot. It wasn't it wasn't like a statement into this girl's promiscuity no, or, no, or anything like that. Just, no, it had it nothing had to do with zero. anything. Kind of there. She's just there. literally just getting out of a tr- uh, out of a car. And they like you know how they have the Joss Whedon lingering butt shot in jo- on uh include Wonder Woman and Aquaman? Yeah was one of those but it was right on her who, who right on her hooch and i was just but i found it, it was just, uncomfortable it wasn't it wasn't poor framing it was just like they zoomed in on like this Dude, girl has a know, vagina man. i don't Basically. know it was creepy yeah so it was weird, weird. so don't so watch weird. firefly lane because it sucks don't watch it and uh that's yeah that's it let's move on to heaven's gate Oh, Very man. Very culty. This is so culty. Reality is often disappointing. The cult of cults, one the, would say. Or it's like the champagne of beer, but the cult of cults. This long is the lasting cult? and highly tasty. Not the Kool-Aid cult. They are not a Kool-Aid cult. They are a pudding cult. Oh, I like pudding. Yes, I'll, I'll give vanilla, you some pudding. chocolate, swirl. So this was an HBO Max Jay Bird saying that our YouTube right now is a 45 second lag. If it's that bad, I will go through and correct it and put up a version that we're not so laggy. Unfortunately, with us live right now, there's nothing I can really do about that. So uh, I appreciate if you guys hang out with us. Please enjoy the time. We enjoy you very much. But I, I uh, this was actually a really good true crime uh, thing. I, I think it's only four episodes. Maybe it's six. I could be wrong. Uh, But it's highly entertaining, really well done. The bulk of it is uh, footage from the actual cult itself because they filmed everything. And these guys were way ahead of the curve because they were all about the internet. They were internet before there was internet. They were one of their day jobs because they ran out of money was hosting and doing websites for people back in the day when websites were like, websites existed because they barely exist now it's all apps so uh yeah if you've ever heard of heaven's gate they are the the, they had the the largest death toll on u.s soil they're a ufo cult yeah that's awesome they they, they were the ones they were the kool-aid cult right they were they're not that's that's jonestown this is after jonestown this is actually in 1997 is is when it ended they were around for 20 years and these people were waiting to be beamed up into a ship where they would resume their bodies as like weird gray aliens, right? They uh, saw the hale Bop comet, if you recall that, and decided oh, that the hale Bop comet was, that's the mothership. It's hiding behind the hale Bop comet. It's coming to take us home, folks. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I think 39. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Eating the pudding. They did it in like three different uh, shifts. What did they put in the pudding? Uh, barbiturates and drank alcohol and, and just went to sleep. 
Oh. Oh, that yeah, seems pretty way to go. Yeah. Don't sound yeah. like a violent pudding death. The crazy part is, though, when you talk about cults, usually there's like extensive leadership and mind, uh, mind manipulate, you know, mind like that brainwashing. Sex cult. Yeah, like the Indian sex cult. And like, there's a lot of like, this was like, you could come and go as you pleased. If you don't want to be in the cult anymore, you left. It's not a very, and, that's not a very productive cult then. Dude, these guys were hardcore and they were way into the aliens. And Star Trek. They're I'm probably looking, into probing. I'm looking at the face right here. And yeah, this dude is definitely into aliens. Well, when you talk about the probing, usually that's a sexual thing. Uh, in this case, they I'm pretty sure they castrated themselves. So there's a little bit oh. of that, too. Oh. Spoiler alert. Oh. Sorry, folks. Oh, boy. There's a little bit of castrating going on. Yeah. It's always, it's it's always fun in games that you bring in the castration. Yeah. Until you pull, remove Until the balls. You, Ugh. Yeah, but it was really I enjoyed it. Uh, it's it's been out for a little bit, but I, I definitely recommend it. And uh, if you ever wanted to know about Heaven's Gate, the Cult of Cults, uh, this is this is the, the documentary for you, and especially. This does, and this does cover everything. It's very informative and covers everything. It's amazing how much footage they filmed themselves, and they gave testimonials before they passed. Uh, about how important the cult was. They looked like the happiest damn people on earth. They're so, testimonies. They're like, I feel like this is kind of weird, but I'm still going to drink this this pudding tomorrow, and I'm going up to space with Gishnu, and I'm going <laughs> to extend what? on to the next plantation in the universe in the extreme. What? That's exactly what they said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't That's think where, and by the way, if you were confused by our ending in our last episode where I said we had five seconds left and it's on to the next session, yeah, I got that from that from this show. So, wow, everyone, everyone, everyone was confused. I was confused. I was confused that you could tell us we sat here for another 30 seconds where I'm like, I was trying to be a cult race? leader, Scott. Where's this? Do you blame me? I'm trying to bring you everyone. like, you could be a cult leader. Who's going to be a cult leader here? Let me ask you who's going to be a cult leader here. The long-haired hippie with a big-ass beard. If someone's going to be running a cold around here, it's going to be me. No, no one's going to follow okay. you, Okay. Well, everyone likes the Heaven's Gate because the tomato meter is 86% and the audience score is 90%. So everyone wants to eat some pudding. They got to eat that pudding. I think the, the, some of the members, in, in the cult started in like 1974 or 1975, something like that. And they were around for like over 20 years. It's crazy. It's awesome. Uh, I mean, it's not awesome for the people who killed themselves. But no, not, the, not awesome for them. Not awesome for them. Although, well, actually, it is awesome for them because they were really excited about it and, and super they're famous, happy. And now they're famous. Not really because they changed their names to like Scalodi and Noob Lodi. <laughs> You're and, Noob and Lodi. Noob Noob. noob no, pudding. like they, they would they would change their names. Noob Lodi. And everybody, yeah. if you had to have like an L-O-D at the end, if you were like still in the class... So he'd be new bloaty and you'd be Scoolody. I don't I don't know who else would do something like that. Just like change their names because they were like, you know. Well, I'm Zlody. It's just weird. Oh, although the 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 two leaders, uh, their names were Doe. Wait, T and Doe. Exciting. <laughs> so when you change your name to something to one syllable, Scott, I'm waiting for it. Uh, It'll be my, my name. My name is already one syllable, Scott. Yeah, That's but it's not as cool syllable. as like it should be like ska or oh my lord. Ought. Well, Jay Bird is wondering why they left Noob Noob here. I'll tell you why, Jay Bird, and that's because we have Patreon subscribers. <laughs> why we do did appreciate they leave Noob Noob on Earth? These Patreon that subscribers and Noob Noob has but one job, and that job happens right now. Because I am an actor. Joshua Burnett, a.k.a. Doc, a.k.a. Jaybird. Seriously, stop having so many goddamn names. A.k.a. Dr. Doc. That's redundant. He and is the doctor Liz of all docs. Frisch, a.k.a. Dr. Fresh. I'd like to see her doctor. I don't believe that at all. She got a doctorate from us. What are you talking mm, about? Like a she real got... doctorate. No, actually, that's also there. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So Liz Frisch, yeah. she is Dr. Fresh. Is she fresh after you, Scott, though? Yes. Fresher. Uh, I don't know about that. Mm. Seems I mean, suspicious. a little tired, but still. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just a little. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. So oh, uh, I guess it's that time. So if you like what you're here this week, head on over to Instagram and check us out at org underscore you. Check us out at facebook.com slash our reviews will kill you. And if you're not listening to us already on one of our podcast platforms, that is Amazon Play, Stitcher, Spotify, or iTunes, then check us out on YouTube at our youtube.com slash our reviews will kill you. And if you need to find any and all of these links, you can go to youtube.com slash oh no no oh my god I messed that one up <clears throat> our reviews will kill you dot com slash links and you will find everything you need to find us there and the podcasts and the videos and the sites and the videos are actually on that page as well so our reviews will kill you dot com slash links will take you to where you need to find all of that don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Share the wealth. If you know someone who needs some lights, share Scott's review. If you want someone who wants to make a cake challenge in their mouth, share Noob Noob's cake challenge. That's how we grow this channel. If you like what we do, if you hate what we do, and you think we're a big pile of racists, Go give us a thumbs yourself. down. <laughs> if you like what we do, give us a big thumbs up. Uh, if you're in the middle somewhere, just uh, order a hit on us, and then uh, we can end all this. Probably Scott. Mostly Scott. Maybe Noob Noob. <laughs> anyway, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, to all of y'all at home, we love y'all, and on to the next one.